None of us want to think about our own death, but not planning ahead can cause problems for both you and your loved ones. In addition to a will, it's important to have a power of attorney, a health care power of attorney, and a living will. These documents spell out how you want to be treated should you become too ill to make decisions on your own. A power of attorney gives a person you choose the ability to pay your bills and handle financial decisions on your behalf should you become incapacitated. A health care power of attorney and living will spell out how you want to be medically treated. Sometimes both of these are in the same document. A living will spells out what measures should be taken and not to be taken to keep you alive. A health care power of attorney allows the person you choose to make decisions about your care if you are unable to do so. It's important that you choose someone you trust to carry out your wishes. The same person doesn't have to handle everything. One person can handle your financial affairs and another can make care decisions. It's also a good idea to choose at least three people and list the order in which they are selected. This is to ensure someone is available in case an emergency arises. It's just as important for younger people, especially those with families, to have these documents. These decisions are never easy, but advanced planning will help relieve some of the pressure for loved ones during an already stressful time. To learn more, visit abc27.com slash gooddaypa for an in-depth article by a Scaringi and Scaringi attorney on estate planning. If you're in need of legal help, you can always speak to one of our attorneys by calling 717-657-7770 or visit scaringilaw.com. And remember, in any situation, it's always important to know your rights.